Philadelphia Eagles fans uh, celebrating in a manner that they're not accustomed to, Washington Capitals fans feeling the same way? Is it possible that fans of, uh, of England are feeling the same way right now, not, not being able to compute what is actually happening on the pitch there in Russia? It's, ex- it's exactly right. I mean, I, I wouldn't quite go Philadelphia Eagle fan levels yet. We don't have to grease up the, uh, the, the telephone <laughs> poles across England right yet. But a winning England, an optimistic England, a joyous England, I, I have never seen that before. With my, I've watched England a lot in my lifetime, and I have never seen an England play with smiles on their face. Truly, I mean, the English players are meant to feel doomed. They're meant to self-sabotage. They're meant to reinforce our sense of self-loathing, the, the, a, a national uh, realization that while we once had an empire and were truly kings of the world, we're now just an insignificant um, kind of tiny little scarf out there in the Atlantic. That's what we expect from our footballers. So to see this young team, and it is young, they've shattered the culture of these legends whose names, you, some of them you may know, Wayne Rooney, Steven Gerrard, who, who kind of uh, had their whole goal on a football field was to not get beat too bad and please don't be the, the scapegoat target for the tabloid newspapers. This young team, they play joyously. They play with uh, real focus on entertaining, attacking, buccaneering football. And to see this young man whose name some of your listeners may recognize, Harry Kane, a young striker, who has been made captain, and he's thrived under the burden of captaincy, which is meant to be like a pair of concrete shoes for those doomed to wear the captain's armband. It's honestly, I would say Duke of Wellington, I would say Winston Churchill, and I would say Harry Kane. He's in that ether, and I'm not being hyperbolic. I'm not exaggerating. He's, uh, he's the Harry, uh, the what's-a-name, probably meant to marry. <laughs> Roger Bennett here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, which is the best side that you've seen so far? It seems like, a, again, a wide wide open, parody-filled cup so far. So who do you think? It th- is. It's a, and it's also a, a World Cup of joyous um, attacking football. Normally, the smaller teams, Iran, Morocco, Peru, would just try and batten down the hatches and play, you know, focus on Buddy Ryan-style uh, defensive football, um, but they haven't. Maybe because America aren't in it, the world's one true superpower on the football field. They're like, you know what? America aren't in it. We've got no one to fear. So last night you saw Iran truly try and take down Portugal, while at the same time Morocco showed no fear um, against Spain. So it is a very open, it's a World Cup that's been a marvel, the greatest World Cup of my lifetime, Rich. And I say the team that have truly caught the eye as Argentina, Falta, as Germany, uh, truly falter has been Mexico. I mean, a a remarkable team to watch. This is a team you you love curses in American sports. You know the the curse of the Bambino, the Madden curse. This is a team that in their last six World Cups, their last six has gone out at the very same round in ever more tragic ways. The, the round of sixteen, they're led by a Colombian manager, Juan Carlos Osorio, who has been despised by the Mexican fans. They've chanted for him to be fired. He shows no respect for the true legends of the team. He, he kind of benches them. He keeps tinkering with tactics. He, he, the, the relationship between the fans and him has really burnt out. He's come on our show a number of times, and he said, you know what, I'm only focused on my team. I don't care what the fans say. At this World Cup, the fans have chanted his name with glory as his team uh, shocked Germany uh, and then stopped South Korea with two very different performances, one counter-attacking, the other deeply aggressive uh, and controlling of the ball. They love his tinkering now. They love his, his creativity. And to watch a man vindicated uh, before the eyes of his own fans has been very moving humanly. And he's talked a lot about the job he wants in soccer, Juan Carlos Osorio, which is ultimately to be the U.S. manager and to think about what he could do with our nation, with our team, uh, with our players. It's hard not to watch Mexico thrive Mm. under his watch and think what could be in the United States. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.